Alright, okay. So... Let's get the drain bug away. A full bug was uh, in the middle of the path? Alright, so... The moat was completely... Completely drained of water. Ah, hello. You're a teeny tiny frog, it looks like? Kind of? The rusty gate was tiny. Splish, splash, splash. Jot peered into the open grate. Ah, oh, you can't roll while holding the word. That's fair enough. Can't expect it to work the way I want it to all the time. The rusty gate was open. A tiny frog observed the bug. Tiny bug in the middle of the path. So what happens with when we turn the frog huge? Goodbye, tiny insect dude. Awesome job, Jot. You really got a grasp on the power of words. It's all just amazing, really. Huge to tiny, full to empty. By changing the words, you can change, well, everything. I guess the story in this book really isn't fixed, huh? I guess not. Maybe the story's characters are not so fixed either, you know? Let's make this frog gigantic, shall we? Just to see. How big do you get, Mr. Frog? Okay, not that big, but bigger than usual. Cool, all right, let's move on. Jump down, ah, oh, Martina, hello. Do you still have that spin attack badge? We meet again! Ah, you do. Okay. Uh, so the stars will be the new stuff, I guess. Uh, sure, I'll buy an art scroll and a spin attack badge. Spooky scary. Sure, we'll test it out. Just see what it's like. How do? Time to drive the spin attack shot. Hold and release ZL. Okay, so not quite as good as a normal Zelda spin attack because you can't move while doing it. Good going. If you want to keep training, check out the board. Onwards. If you turn the pages, you might retrieve a useful word. A word that could get you across the slimy, swampy water. Why not give it a go? Something to do, at least. The walkway was destroyed. I can't change it. Kill the goblins! They must pay for their crimes. I'm not going to lie, I do actually appreciate Mini Beard telling us that way. Hey, maybe you should turn the page to go back. A tiny lily pad floated on the water. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Frog. You're going to have to be tiny again. Yeah, I feel like the mechanic of using words to interact... Uh, oh yeah, I need to manipulate with that. I feel like it's a common thing, or at least I feel like I remember it happening in a different game to this one. 
and not just Babra's you. A huge lily pad. That is huge. Ah, a fish out of water. Look over there, a poor flippy floundering fish. Uh, hmm. Well, that's a bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Grab the fish. Jot cleared his mind. Now he was ready to grab the fish. Fishing minigame. Alright, tell me which button to press, game. Alright, uh, it's X. Oh, too early. Oh, too early again. Ah, <laughs> it's not as soon as it comes out. Uh, what? That was totally doable. So sometimes he, it feels like the fish goes slower. Okay. What? Hmm. Oh, come on. That was the right time. Maybe it was a little bit early. Am I not grabbing at the right time? Yeah, let's see. Is there a, a trick that I'm not seeing here? Like, I'm, I'm not supposed to grab the tail. I'm supposed to grab the body of the fish. There we go. Yeah, thanks for the thumbs up, dude. Fish grabbed. The plucky squire gently released the fish into the water. And there, it regained its composure. Ooh, thank you so much, noble traveller. My name is Flotio, and I'm a fish. Green lightning zapped me right out of these waters. Consumed by fear, I flipped and flopped, till by your hand my fugue was stopped. I am eternally in your debt, but you must forgive me. I must go. For my beloved swims this reedy fen, and I cannot rest till we meet again. Safe travels, my noble saviours. What an extremely well-spoken fish. I do hope he finds his love. Hmm. We'll see. He might go nice with some chips. I don't know. Our heroes ventured on. The sounds of the daytime chorus began to fade. And the light began to dwindle. It was now night in the swamps. The swamps are kind of moody at night. Check out those singing frogs. Sweet harmonies. Piranha plants on parade. This bridge was broken. This bridge was night. Oh, sorry, frog. Alright, let's see. Uh, aha, solid. Hello, mini bird. Some of those singing frogs might be blocking your way. You know, when night becomes day, they shuffle around and change positions. Now, if you could make night into day, you'd be onto something. Did I mention you get useful words from previous pages? Just came to mind, not sure why. Uh, 
Oh. No, I can't retrieve that. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I don't remember seeing a book, uh, uh, a word about day though. And there's only two portals, right? Bridge is broken? Yeah, okay. So there's no words on that one. Tiny lily pad? Hmm. Oh, that's, yeah, that's as far back as it goes. Okay, well, fair enough. Actually, yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. Grab this one. Zoop. Because I'm assuming that I can't take the the words that are not part of uh, the well the story. Um. All right. Let's see. Oh, this bridge was huge. <laughs> oh, but it's still blocked. <sighs> okay. The bridge was tiny? Did that work? A tiny bridge? This is an interesting kind of um, dilemma is how much flexibility in changing the world do you get? Because there's obviously only certain words that can change, and there's only certain words that make sense grammatically. Oh. So, yeah, I guess they didn't have to worry about too many edge cases of if someone does this, then this will be a problem because we haven't accounted for it. Huge. Replaced. What? There's two huges now? Tiny. Ah, oh, okay, right, right. Huh. It was now tiny in the swamps. It was now day in the swamps. Oh, hang on. There was a previous page, wasn't there? But it's not a... There isn't a portal in that page, though. It does say night turns to day on this page. The daytime began to fade, yeah. But I can't reach that in 2D world. Huh. It was now night in the swamps. Hmm. I'm duplicating words. That's a weird interaction. Yeah, so it, it pops out something if it doesn't fit. Whoa, did I not see you down here? <laughs> They're in two places at once, okay. There? Oh. The, the thing's here. That's how you get the word. It was now daytime in the swamp. All right, I, I knew the word was daytime. I just didn't see the, the portal for it. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah. Okay, that has made me think... I think I'm going to turn on hidden portals, because uh, I knew what the solution was. It's just the answer was actually invisible. All right, well, anyway. It was now daytime in the swamp. Sleepy frogs. Oh, I'll tell you what though, the game is uh, struggling a bit. Definitely seems like there's a lot of slowdown here. 
So, all right, so we solved the puzzle, but yeah, I think once we've progressed past this section, uh, I am going to, in fact, turn on the find all hidden portals. Okay, yeah, something is going on with the game right now, because it's making multiple copies of all these words, and I don't think it can really handle it. <laughs> uh... And I think the word nighttime has um, gone as well. Yeah, alright. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Skip mini game. <laughs> uh, thank you. Oh, there's an art scroll there. Oh, okay. Okay, where did I put the word night? Yeah, it's over there. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I'm soft locked. There is no way for me to reach the word night in a way that would let me change it from being daytime. This is now blocking the way. And the word night is over on the right. <laughs> uh... Hmm... Okay. Yeah. Because that frog is now blocking that staircase. This frog is blocking this staircase. I would need one of them to move to be able to reach the word night. But I can't reach the word night because it's on the opposite side of both of these. Alright, well... <sighs> Let's see. Um, I wonder, if I quit, does that move the night thing again? Unsaved progress will be lost. Three minutes, four seconds. Let's try it. To be fair, that three minutes would just be me um, wandering around trying to find uh, the word daytime. Even though I knew where it was, I just didn't see a portal for getting it. Alright, so where does it put me? It was now daytime... Oh, don't tell me I'm actually locked out. Oh no. That is not a good sign. Taking the word out doesn't change it back to nighttime. This is actually not a soft lock. I don't think it's possible for me to get the word night. Because this frog blocks me from going over here and the portal over this side gets blocked by the frog over here so because the word night is moved over on the right hand side it is not possible for me to get past here okay well yeah hmm it's a weird interaction, but I feel like that's an obvious one they should have tested for. As in, is it possible for the player to get to the word... Is it possible for the player to get blocked from being able to do the thing that they need to? And it looks like the answer is yes. Because I can't get past there, and I just tried getting past there. Uh, I suppose I didn't try jumping over the frog, but... I'm pretty sure you can't, because the whole point is that's blocking the way. There needs to be a reset words in original positions thing. That would have solved this. But, yeah. Okay. 
so I'm going to have to restart the chapter. That's kind of unfortunate. Treacherous Trail. Chapter replay. No, don't tell me I can't actually do it. See, I thought it was a soft lock, but you restart the chapter and you'll be fine. I actually can't get further than this. If the way that it works is what I'm thinking it is, I can't get to the word I need to be able to move to make them move out of the way. <sighs> Okay. The game has saved at the point of making it daytime, which has ironically made it impossible to make it nighttime. I'm just I'm going over it again just to make sure that I'm not missing anything out. Solid. I have the word. Over here. Alright. See, the thing with this, like, making words copy each other, it's strange, but I can see why they do it. It's like, they give you an extra word once you've placed it down. But I haven't got an extra night word. So I can't put the extra night word in the right place. Also, why are there so many of these? Um... Like, th there is some weird thing going on here that is copying the words out. But I don't have a copy of night time. Alright, let's see. Is there an option in the accessibility to be like, move over? No, there's not. Rumble... Does this do anything? <laughs> Alright, I can make the jump. But I can't jump over the goddamn frog. And yeah, I can't attack the frog to get rid of it. Well, that kind of sucks, and that has kind of brought the day, the game down in my estimation. Like, I was doing so well at defending it over stealth sections, but this has just locked me out. I can't, I can't get past this bit. All it needed was a reset, like, just say, oh, this word needs to be where it was originally, restart the level, and then be able to do it. Taking the word out doesn't make it daytime. You have to make it nighttime. And let's see. What if I go here, turn the page, and then try and enter the, the thing again? Hang on, where's the, where's the hidden pole? That's uh, this one. It's not showing the hidden pole on the right hand side. That's weird. So I'm gonna try walking into the page manually and see if that helps. See that's what make that what that is what made Babbit as you so good, is that you could reset the position of everything. I mean it's more of a programming puzzle challenge than anything else, but yeah. No. 
No, it's not reset the position of any of the words. Okay. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Um, that has actually meant I... If this game was not necessarily fairly short, I would have said that's the last time I played this game. Because, well, play game, chapter 4, chapter replay. Alright, do I have to play all of chapter 3 to get back to it? Replay progress is not saved. Your save file will not be affected. Press A to return to the main menu. So my thing doesn't carry over. Play game, treacherous trail, continue. Have to hope that it's reset everything, but the the way that it's loading makes me think that it's reset the position of where it was when I left it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. That sucks. Because the word night is over there, I can't reach it. Alright, well, that's very much a bummer. Because um, it doesn't seem like there's a way to redo this other than to delete everything and play through the game all the way through up to this point again. Which uh, you should never have to do. So... Alright, well, that will wrap up the stream for today. Uh, apologies, I didn't expect this to be the outcome. Um, like I said, I'm kind of bummed out that it's happened and the game has gone down in my estimation. Like, it's cool, I, like, I enjoyed the vibes, you know. The, the gameplay's not the most challenging, but it doesn't have to be because it's a storybook adventure, right? But this is a fundamentally broken thing of the thing that I need to progress is on the opposite side of these things that block the things that I need to progress. And there's no way to reset the entire thing. Like, what's this? Is that, oh, it's the art gallery. And there's no way to cheat it through the accessibility. Like, maybe the jump assist? I don't know. No, the jump assist is um, not that. What is it? It's jump height, isn't it? Increases jump height, but I can't jump over the... Like, they're not actually... They're not obstacles in a sense. It's more like an invisible wall in the shape of a toad. But yeah, I can't jump over them. And I can't jump on top of the, the slab to jump on top of that and then jump over them. So, yeah. So, alright, well... That will do it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it up to the point where we found a like a soft lock. Is it a soft lock? It's a soft lock because the game can still be played, but I can't go any further. So it's more like a hard lock. But usually a hard lock is like the game has frozen entirely and you can't like play anymore. This is still playable. But I can't do anything. 